for most ministry leaders, I think it's probably best to focus on one or two social media channels or networks and do them well. Choose where you will engage on social media. Engagement is a key, and I'll talk more about that when we get to number four. But choose where you will engage on social media. What platforms are you going to use for your ministry? Are you going to use Facebook? If so, are you going to do it on your personal Facebook uh, account? Are you going to create a Facebook page? Are you going to create a Facebook group? Are you going to do Instagram? If so, are you going to do it from your personal Instagram or from a ministry Instagram account? Are you going to do Twitter? Are you going to do YouTube? Are you going to do LinkedIn? What are you going to do? Now, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, you can choose. Some people make a big argument that you should just choose one or two platforms and focus on those. Other people say, you know what, you need to try to do them all. Um, I'm not going to try to answer that question for you because there's really no easy way to answer it. For me, to, I, could, I could give you advice on that, but it would require you and me sitting down and, and a one-on-one -on -one conversation so I could get context around what you're doing and what your goals are. Uh, for most ministry leaders, I think it's probably best to focus on one or two social media channels or networks and do them well. However, uh, for more seasoned people and you've got something to say and you've got some systems in place, you could try to push stuff out to all the channels every day. It requires um, a lot of time and work and intentionality, but it is possible to take your content and multiply it to different channels because people are living different places. But you need to choose, where am I going to live? Where am I going to engage with people? Uh, again, I think for most ministry leaders that I talk to and that I give advice to or that are asking me questions, I normally recommend Facebook and Instagram. But that's not always the case. Maybe in your context, maybe Twitter's good. I think Twitter's kind of going down like this a little bit. I don't see as many people. I don't think it's on the upward swing. I think it's on the downward for my two cents, which is only worth that two cents. But I think a lot of people are on Facebook and a lot of people are on Instagram. I also think that there are people out there that listen to podcasts, that watch YouTube videos. Uh, you've got a lot of your people on Snapchat. So there are a lot of good things to consider, but you need to choose where are you going to focus on.